Hello, everyone, and welcome back to beautiful Athens, Georgia. Today is Sunday, June 24th, 2018. It's exactly 11 o'clock in the morning, and I'm having breakfast at the Varsity. Some of you might recognize the Varsity as being one of the local favorites from downtown Atlanta going way, way back. At the height of its popularity, people were suggesting even begging them to franchise and create a chain and start opening more uh, varsities all over the place, but they resisted, claiming the varsity needed to remain a local mainstay of Atlanta. But after a while, they finally relented and opened a couple of other varsity locations, one of them here in Athens, and that's the only reason why I'm going to eat here because I'm not driving in to downtown Atlanta again to eat at that varsity. The guy that played the Tin Man on the movie The Wiz was actually discovered because he was a waiter at the original varsity. And yes, I have actually met Flossie. When I was a kid, I met and shook the hand of Flossie. Now believe me when I say the thing that made them famous in Atlanta was more their efficiency than the quality of their food. They were really known for the phrase, what do you have, what do you have, what do you have? Have your mind made up and your money in your hand. Uh, by the time you got to your turn in line, you were supposed to have your mind made up, know at least close to what your total was, and have that amount ready in your hand. And they got the people in and got them out quickly. It was a very good thing for a place as crowded as downtown Atlanta. But the food was really kind of cheap and subpar, but people loved it anyway. It was more about the personality and the efficiency. I mean, just look at this onion ring. Uh, when I was a kid, the very first time that eating food so greasy it made me sick, it happened at the varsity. And I had an iron stomach when I was a kid. These things look like you could light them, and they would burn like a candle. Good old-fashioned varsity grease right there. The Empire doesn't care about your stick figure family. <laughs> uh, somebody let me know where I can get one of these. Growing up around the Atlanta metro area and all the day trips I took out to Athens, this place is really like an old friend, and if I tried to cover all the little niche stores and fun stuff there was to do here, I could make an entire series of videos. But I can't do that because I'm working out here and I have to be gone early Monday morning, but I will give you a highlight, something I have to see every time I'm in Athens, and that would be Bizarro Wuxley. That is the first, the best comic book store in Athens, Georgia, and they have independent comics, underground comics, mainstream comics. If it has comics in the name, they've got it, and they've got it in spades. And also, if you follow the sidewalk around to the other side of their store, they've also got a CDs and vinyl music store. Buy, sell, trade, CDs and vinyls. Oh, and... Look who showed up! Hey! <laughs> Danielle is here. She made a day trip. Well, I want to say day trip. She uh, she came out here last night, tried to get a hotel. You want to give them the story? No. <laughs> okay. We'll leave that out. It's a little embarrassing for her. But she was getting a little stir-crazy out there in Live Oak. Had a little bit of a, a rough time and wanted to get out and enjoy Athens for the at the music festival. Came out here. Woohoo! <laughs> so she's gonna be with us. She was actually with me all day yesterday, but you didn't see any of that because I was so incredibly busy. Once again, that is a good thing. And uh, so we got the rest of today. Let's go on into this comic book store. They just opened like five minutes ago. Oh, I'm getting excited. Man, last time I was in here, they had Nintendo games, they had Garbage Pail Kid cards, they had zines. Look there. 
All right, here's their shelf with uh, the independent zines. And believe it or not, my comics were sold on this shelf at one point. Just down the street, there's a place called the 40 Watt Club that has one of the only independent or indie comics conventions this side of the country. I used to do it every year. Haven't been able to since I started working self-employed full-time. I miss that. But anyway, after the Independence Comics Convention is done, the publishers, if they've got extra stuff left over they didn't sell there, could come over here and sell their extra stock to Bizarro Wuxley's, and they would stock it on this shelf. And my stuff was on this shelf. Yes, I used to draw comics. I had a web comic that I drew for five years, and I updated it regularly. I had hundreds of comics on there. Uh, as a matter of fact, that's my publisher right there. So apparently, they're still supplying some comics to the store. Got a boxed Atari 5200. That was the one that came after the 2600 and before the 7800. And it failed miserably because of its poor controllers. But still, it's boxed right there. Look at all this. Kaiju monsters. For some reason, mixing in Power Rangers with Godzilla, and we've got a we've got was oh, that a Mecha Godzilla there? Yeah. We've got a whole case, a whole shelf dedicated to Rat Fink. Oh man, I wish I could get every single one of these. It's actual figurines from the Pogo comic strip. Oh my goodness. You never see that. And then, a Miss Sparkle. No join me. Oh, Malcolm Vestal. <laughs> so good. Uh, another Mecha Godzilla. Oh my goodness. We have the Adam West Batman. Oh. Even trauma films is represented here. Toxie, the toxic crusader, a teenager of inhuman size and strength. And I didn't mention it before, but look at this. Old syndicated comics, Broomhilda, the Wizard of Id. Beetle Bailey, <sighs> Dennis the Menace, oh this is beautiful, uh, I just want to spend the rest of the day here. Alright, I've only got like 20 minutes left, oh look at this, there's a robot fighting a, a lion right there. Alright, I've only got 20 minutes left before i got to be back to work, and uh, if I just kept showing all the stuff I thought was cool, we'd be here all day. So just take my word for it. If you're in Athens, come to Bizarro Wuxley's. If you have even the smallest hipster bone in your body, you will love it. And I'm going to turn the camera off now and enjoy the next 10 minutes in here, then get back to work. Well, technically I'm open on time. According to the website, we were supposed to be here at 12.30. It's 12.30 now. Everybody was open before me, but hey, I stayed open late last night. I, I deserved a little time in Bizarro Wuxley. Danielle, what did you think of Bizarro Wuxley's? It's so cool. All the action figures and comic books and suits. Not really your thing, is it? No, it's really... It's really <laughs> she's, she's more a music person. But let me show what I ended up getting while I was in there. Uh, first off... The boring. I got a couple of seasons of The Simpsons that I don't have. But I found a campy old horror movie for $3 called The Woman Eater. Yeah. I'll take one. And if you guys haven't seen yet what my preference is when it comes to authors, I prefer women authors. As far as comics go, I prefer these kind of independent, black and white, no superheroes, gritty, down-to-earth, real-life type comics. And well, one of my favorite comics of all time is one called Locals. If you guys will see that one, that is like one of my favorites of all time. But this one is right in the same vein. 
and it's called Bad Houses by Sarah Ryan. So that's why I end up buying at Bizarre Wuxley's today. It's exactly 8 o'clock now and we have another rainbow. That makes three rainbows within, what, like three weeks, I think? Space 35, that was my space. Just 45 minutes ago, we are completely packed up. Everything is already in the back of the truck. And it is 9.40 now. The rain came and went one last time. We got a rainbow. Now the bands are done. We're packing up. I had a wonderful, wonderful AFFest 2018. It was fantastic. Looking forward to AFFest 2019. Okay, Danielle is on her way back to Florida now. She's going to try to make the whole drive tonight. I'm betting she's going to stop somewhere and get some sleep. But <laughs> we're going to see her again in what? Uh, November? In November, no, November. At, at the um, Columbia County Fair yes, right. over in Lake City, Florida. We're going to go. We've already planned it. We're going to go do some roller skating together. That's right. I got the bubble wrap. Don't you worry about him. <laughs> and... Uh, so let's all just say goodbye to Danielle until until the end. So <laughs> bye bye Danielle. It is now Monday, June the twenty fifth, two thousand eighteen. Well, goodbye to Pine Lake Campgrounds in Athens, Georgia. We had a wonderful time, and we are back on the road again, heading off to the next adventure. So let me go ahead and end this one now. Please, guys, don't forget to smash that like button. Leave comments, questions, and suggestions. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon to start receiving notifications. Share this vlog around with all your other friends on all the other social media platforms. I love you guys very much, and I will see you again in the next vlog. Oh, that was a close call. I haven't used Google Maps to get me from Athens all the way back to the Tri-Cities area before. So I didn't know that they were going to take me on this long stretch down 208 through the mountains with no gas station. And I almost ran out of gas. That's where I was right there. Right on the line. And I finally had this country gas pump here that doesn't even have credit card slots on it. What do you think, Nestor? Uh, he's just like, oh, we're stopped. I am so relieved.